what I think sets this movie apart from other horror films is um, is how unpredictable it is, how it plays with conventional horror tropes and just turns them on their heads, their little scary heads. Um, it is uh, it's 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 a it's a really seamless blend of of very scary and very funny, sometimes within the same scene. Um, and I haven't seen that kind of thing done as well since you know early Sam Raimi. It's it's uh, it's up there with the, the the greats. Zach is not it's Zach. Well, I'm sure a lot of people have encountered um, you know t the toxic male, a real toxic male. Um, he's a real narcissist. Um, he's uh, very entitled and spoiled and. Um, Fortunately, I couldn't relate <laughs> that much to some of those aspects, but some I could. I'm an actor, you know. I have, I, I have my own uh, struggles with narcissism, <laughs> and um, I think it's just a matter of like leaning into those uh, like unsavory elements of my personality and um, and imagining what it would be like to be somebody like that. Um, fortunately, most of it was done with my imagination and uh and i think audiences will hopefully be able to relate to um you know somebody being in a uh a, a perilous situation and and somebody who is um yeah just really i mean everyone knows unlikable people georgie is totally right I, um he did not at all seem like a first time director he was so assured and um so prepared uh and just had, you know, I just somebody you just uh, we we all just trusted so implicitly, and um, yeah, I I I had never been to um, Bulgaria before, so so just being there was really an experience, and I, I loved it there. Um, I had never worked on a movie that was I never played gotten to play a character who was that flawed, um, who was that uh, despicable. So that was kind of exciting and different. And um, yeah, I a lot of firsts. Never worked with Georgina, the great Georgina. I uh, never worked with Bill Skarsgård or any Skarsgårds. I don't think I've worked with a single Skarsgård, which is rare. We love it. We love Airbnb. We, <laughs> Joe, Brian, the founders, the wonderful founders. Um, they're a great company. The inspiration for this was really just to surprise myself. You know, I, I came up with the idea of a double booked Airbnb and the inherent danger that any woman would have when they have to decide, I'm either gonna, gonna you know, cohabitate for the evening with, this, with a strange man or I could sleep in my car. You know, that's, that's, that's a, not a good choice uh, that anyone should have to make. And so I knew that um, I could load a lot of tension into, into that setup. And then as I was writing, I just had one rule for myself, which was that if I don't know what's going to happen, there's no way the audience could know what's going to happen. So I just I just tried to follow my nose and surprise myself. And um, and I can confidently say that um, it is a surprising story because I, I, I didn't know where it was going to go. Well, I think that I think that balancing humor and horror is um, is not as difficult as as uh, as it may seem. You know, there are so similar. Um, things you know the, the anatomy of a joke is is almost the same as the anatomy of a scare it's all about building tension or building tone uh it's all about timing and it's all about zigging when the audience expects you to zag so um i feel like i've been kind of working on this for a long time in one shape or another through my through my uh, experience with comedy uh and then as far as policing myself uh, I really didn't. I just kind of wrote what was fun to write, and and uh, I just trusted myself. So I, I tried not to think too much about where it was, you know, if it was getting too heavy in one direction or the other. I, I just, um, I just, I just pretty much figured I'd probably pull it off, and and if I didn't, I'd figure it out. We filmed it in Detroit for for some of it, and we filmed a lot of it in Bulgaria. Um, filming this movie in Bulgaria was was a real adventure, but. I, I was in great hands. I mean, they have very experienced crews there. Uh, my Bulgarian producers treated me great. Um, you know, we built a whole city block uh, in Bulgaria on a very limited budget, and we erected 13 houses, and then we we rebuilt those houses to have completely different looks. Um, every interior was done on a stage in Bulgaria. I mean, I, I really got uh, just an absolute bang for my buck there. 
and and it was really fun. They were just they were a great group of people. I would make another movie there for sure. It was awesome. Well, Georgina was the perfect actor for Tess because she's first of all she's just an incredibly wonderful actor. She's so talented. She never has a false moment, and she has this really empathetic quality where you just. It's easy to kind of beam yourself into her and like join her on her journey. And so I, I knew that when she signed on that that my movie was gonna be in good hands. I was I was thrilled. And then Justin, you know, it's a little bit of a spoiler, but Justin plays a, a pretty despicable person in this film. And and he usually plays these like lovely, endearing people because he has such a lovely, endearing personality. And so to kind of use that vessel of this total charmer. For this total scumbag i thought was a really exciting thing to try and uh he's so gifted that he he really pulled it off you know when you watch a horror movie in a theater and especially one like this that's very surprising and has a lot of of big moments um you know the communal experience makes it in my opinion exponentially more enjoyable you know if you're watching something at home by yourself looking at your phone you, you just you don't have that that kinetic kind of plugged in juiced up experience so i think of it as like do you want to watch a video of someone going on a roller coaster ride or do you want to go to the theme park and get on the ride? Go get on the ride, man. You only live once. Have fun. Do it. Yeah, we we had we had fun. It was kind of like we were it was so sweet. We played so many games like um uh Zach Cooperstein who was the DOP was really into games. So he had like all these board games he brought with him. Uh he had like a uh, Catan. That's oh. one right <laughs> and he had like werewolf and he had um playing cards um so we had a lot of um time together where we played games it was kind of like very sweet very um you know we we, we didn't go out like drinking or like clubbing or anything like that we we played games and it was very wholesome and sweet so i think what sets this movie apart from other horror movies um is that it, it's just got a fantastic script. It has a fantastic story in its center. It's really well written. Um, it has something to say, which is always kind of exciting when you're watching genre films. And it's constantly leaves you second guessing. You just don't know what's gonna happen, um, which is really fun. I think it's fun to be in a film and have to constantly be trying to figure out where you are, what's going on. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. I think uh, that Tess is really relatable. She's written to be relatable. She kind of stands in for the audience throughout the film. Um, so you're going on this journey with her and she's reacting to everything that's going on around her. Um, so I can relate. Uh, I can relate a bit, probably not now, but when I was a bit younger to being trapped in, you know, bad relationships or kind of not feeling like I had agency over my life or not feeling like I had the the confidence or the kind of assuredness in myself um, to kind of battle things alone and not feel like you, you need to be in a relationship or, or, or you need that person to kind of fall back on. It was wonderful. I was so excited. I was so excited um, to be on a film and working with Justin Long. And it was really exciting. I remember telling my sister and she was like, oh my God, Justin Long, like that's so cool. You know, oh. dodgeball and like, he's just, you know, been in so many kind of classic, amazing films. Um, so that was really exciting. And then with Zach, it was just, you know, I didn't really think about him being a first time director and he certainly didn't feel like it. There was never any moment on set where it felt like, he was struggling or he didn't know what he was doing. He was fixed in, like he he feels like he's been directing for a really long time. It really suits him. Um, so I just really enjoyed working with him.